Click enter and you will click join now and you just enter your email you can use um, you can use your Amazon account like your whatever you buy your Amazon that will work here but I'm going to just sign in so that you can see what it looks like inside and all the things that you can do so it, it's pretty straightforward it's going to tell you right here what to do okay welcome to author central it's going to tell you each thing to do so if you click on your amazon author page that link right there this um then you can go up here and see what it looks like on amazon i'll show you mine real quick um i have a cup several of my books unpublished right now while i'm doing updates to them so you have my picture over here and my little bio and um, a couple of my books that are still showing up, but again, not all of them are. So this is what yours will look like when you're finished. There are a few things to do. Your biography, if you have a blog, you can add that RSS feed here. Anytime you're having a speaking engagement, bookstore appearance, anything, it really is a good idea to keep this updated, okay? And here is your Amazon author page. This is the text, the, the, the link that you would share with people. Don't go to the search bar and copy it from there. While there are benefits to doing that for your books, there's not a benefit to having um, a huge URL for your Amazon author page, so just use the one right there. Um, you can add more photos than that. You can add a book trailer, an interview that you do, you know, something of your author, you know, your author um, uh, book signings or anything like that. So then you click at the top, you have your books, you have your sales in, um, info, this is where you can get all that information, customer reviews. Um, yeah, and so whenever you get it, I wanna talk about negative reviews right now because they're not really that big of a deal. It, it's going to feel like a terrible thing when it happens to you, but it's not really, and here's why. A negative review, when most of them are four or five stars, a negative review of like no stars or one star, and then they just, if, if you look, it's generally all about the um, reviewer disagreeing with the information you presented. And that's good because it can start a conversation. So you just add a comment to any review that you're not thrilled with. That's essentially, and we can do it right here. Okay, so you can just um, add your comment right now and you can then get an update. So if this person continues the conversation, you'll be notified. W the bigger deal is that you will most likely see other people when they come to review, see that negative one, and um, instead of our first reaction is going to be that that will hurt your sales. Instead of that, was what most um, publishers and authors have found is that that actually elicits kind of this defense mechanism from people who have read your book and love it. And so it's not a big deal if you get a negative review based on content. It's just part of the conversation, so don't feel that way. Um, yeah, and then it's very straightforward. It's not too jazzy, but uh, they are. There are quite a few things you can do from this author back page, and it's something you definitely need to explore as a Scorpio Press author. One more little thing I wanted to add was that uh, I forgot to tell you how to add your book. So I told you how to set up your author page, but here, if you here's your author page, and you set up your account, and you will have to verify your email address. You go over here to books. If you don't see all of your books there. Can click add more books um, and I will show you exactly what to type in to find our book it's right there you just click this is my book and then it has your name boom 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 right there um, it allows yeah 10 authors on here so no big deal if you write under a name if, if I've gotten your name wrong and or or something you want to do a different name than that don't do this don't click pen name you need to tell me that and I, it will need to be changed on our ISBN because we don't use create space it's important that all the information is correct on your IS, our ISBN and copyright filings and it's good that we don't use create space but that is a video for another time so yeah there's there's the end of that and I just wanted you to see how to how to do that right there.